In our last episode, we did a debrief on our Baha Ha Ha experience. In this episode, we get settled in La Paz and Tim prepares a Thanksgiving feast and a tiny galley. Welcome to GNT Sailing. If you're new here, I'm Gretchen and this is Tim. We've spent the last two years refitting Felicita, our Catalina 42, and have finally launched our sailing dream. We don't care where we go, we just care that we go, and we're glad you're coming along for the ride. Come on, tell me what you're doing. I'm taking a lifting bridle. I'm doing a, a mock-up, getting the measurements right, and now that I think I've got it where I want it, I'll just take measurements of those, and then I'll splice the Dyneema with some hooks on them and the ring, and we'll be done. And what lessons have we learned in our prototyping? The uh, lifting point has to be much higher. I thought it would be closer, but much higher. That's all that I, I thank you, YouTube. <laughs> Looks good. We got stuck in La Paz due to heavy northerly winds that closed the port. The good news is that gave us a chance to explore La Paz and run a few errands. But sitting still is not really our forte and the frustration levels were getting high. On this particular day, I was trying to get footage of our time in La Paz and let's just say the talent was not into it. Ready to fish. Yep. Are you? <laughs> now what? No. Tell us about this sculpture. It's like a mermaid, a topless mermaid. And a dolphin. She was hanging out with a dolphin's tail. She's pretty uh, exposed, her breasts there. Not sure we'd see something like that in the States because we're so prudish. That night we were treated to a beautiful sunset. All right, so. Mission complete. Day two of the project. Yeah. What'd you do? of them and put little carabiners on there. Nice. Put a lifting eye up there. There she blows. So the strategy here is twofold. One, lifting it out of the water to prevent growth on the bottom of the dinghy, which is nice. And to make it harder to steal the dinghy better to bring it all the way up across but we don't have our deck, deck space is not ideal so we're thinking we'll lock it we'll take our cable from one of those loops and maybe lock it to this cleat so they'd have to make a lot of noise so they gotta get up here cut stuff uh, yeah it'd be, they'd definitely wake us up trying to steal it mm -hmm. so we watched a really good YouTube channel and Simon from Sailing Britican, he said, just make your dinghy harder than the next guy's dinghy to steal. So that's what we're gonna do. It's our first Thanksgiving on the boat and we're having some friends from Sailing Vessel Salt Whistle over this afternoon. Tim is doing most of the cooking, so let's hear from him what is on the menu. Potatoes and gravy, Jacques Pepin, carrots and chicken. Jacques Pepin inspired chicken, Jacques Pepin inspired carrots, mashed potatoes and gravy. Anything it's, else? And then our friends are bringing dessert and some. Oh, a special surprise dessert. And they're grilling some squash, some butternut oh, squash. Yeah, butternut squash, yeah. Exactly. 
and you made pumpkin bread yep this and quite a feast for a and pumpkin. we have a bottle of champagne chilling yeah it's very windy here the port is closed we couldn't leave if we wanted to also on tap today is a shower with hot water for Tim. We're making hot water for Thanksgiving. It is very windy here. My job today is to stay out of Tim's way in our very small galley. what do you say? Amen, sister. I'm thankful for you and I love you, but you gotta stay out of the way. No room for too many cooks in this kitchen. <laughs> well, since we're not roasting a turkey and I won't have the bones and everything to make good traditional gravy, I found this recipe on America's Test Kitchen where you can just make gravy out of roasted, you know, not roasting, but... Um, Saute. Sauteing all these vegetables and then making a really dark roux with beef and chicken broth and then just making the gravy out of that. So I've made some broth. I don't have canned broth, I just have bouillon and stuff. So that's what we're doing. Today, we're, or, the first thing I'm making is the gravy. And then I found a video from one of the America Test Kitchen cooks making mashed potatoes super one pot easy. I'm gonna try that today. And then we're just gonna make Jacques Pepin chicken, which is super simple, and Jacques Pepin carrots. So, Keeping it simple in the galley, in a boat galley. Thanksgiving in Mexico, on a boat. Sun is shining, there's no snow, but there will be Lions football shortly. All right, we've got gravy cooking. We've got Tim doing the cooking. And we have the Lions on the TV. Proper Thanksgiving. Proper Thanksgiving. And we have the Mexican sunshine and wind. Tell the people at home what you're doing now. Adding more potatoes to the pot because you don't think there's enough. I mean, if you look around, pretty small stove, pretty small pots, pretty small area. We have that whole other big pot. Tim's pissed at me because I had an opinion. <sighs> Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so we've moved past potatoes. Are, are we friends again? Yeah. Now what are you working on? Carrots. Fancy carrots. Carrots with chives. No, we didn't have chives. So well, we're pivoting. Zagging with the green onions. Green onion tops. No chives or shallots in Mexico so far. We have some leftover shallots. Don't tell the Mexican government. I cut them up and froze them. Here comes our guests. They're coming from that boat, Salt Whistle. How's it going? What's the update, Cookie? Carrots are done. We're just gonna keep those warm. Mashed potatoes are in the oven, garlic bread's in the oven, and uh, the roast peppers and stuff. What's in the oven? Yep, you got it off. So I'm gonna, uh, I need this pan for the chicken. So I'm gonna keep these warm. I'll heat up the gravy at the last minute and then we'll make the chicken and we're ready to eat. Right. 4.30, 4.35. So we're looking at five-ish. What could be better than having Tim cook Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> as I sit here and drink wine? Welcome <laughs> to my life. I love you, Scarlett. This is wunderbar. Girl. You my brown eyed girl. What do you got there, honey? Uh, this is our one box of Christmas decorations that we allowed ourselves to bring. Tim wanted more, but I had to pull them back. Not. That's not a thing. 
Um, yeah, so it's the day after Thanksgiving. We're in La Paz, Mexico. It is blowing 18 to 30 knots today. So we're just laying low, gonna watch a Christmas movie and decorate the boat for Christmas. And I've been excited to do this all week. Yay! Baker. Go! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Flag! Oh. Touchdown, baby! Are you happy? Very. What a great game. That was a game for the ages. <laughs> Join us next time as we finally escape La Paz. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you catch all the episodes of our first season, Cruising in Mexico. And head over to Instagram for real-time updates. Check out our tracker and more details about our cruising life at gntsailing.com. We'll catch you next time. Mexico is sexy-go!